eye catcher. So we wait now for Jack Manani Gap in the colors of Miss Suzanne Miller. And he goes in, so they're all in, locked away for the opener. Racing absolutely level beginning and too much bling has shot to the lead opening up by a half a length on the outside there goes jewel into second there's a two length gap to jack manani gap then there's on the outside zen dead on the inside is imagine that eye catcher is going to be caught three wide as they're around the far turn and head up the hill towards the three for low marker and too much bling in front by half a length from on the outside jewel jack manani gaps talking these in third then comes imagine that eye catcher is next Zendaya's hard ridden, musical with a lot to do. The others will have to sprout wings to win from here as they come to the quarter pole. The opening quarter was 25 and one, and it's too much bling. Clinging to the lead on the outside, Jewel has fallen away. Jack Manani Gap needs to find a lot more. Imagine that staying on like a mother in law, and there are no more turns in the opener. And too much bling has not seen a rival on the outside. Here comes Jack Manani Gap rallying home. Too much bling, Jack Manani Gap trying desperately. One last desperate search at the way inseparable. Photo time here at the garrison. Jack Manani Gap and too much bling go by in a time of 107 and 2. In a moment, but we'll be back with a recap for you. That was a that was Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as they pass the post for race number one. Okay, studios, we are ready for you here Sunday again at the garrison.
on today's Sandy Lane Barbados Gold Cup Welcome race day. The, the Villa at Sandy Lane too much Trophy. Bling. Give Horse number two, Bram Stoker too much bling. First win. Trio of Baco uh, by Bram Stoker out of Blackbird by Boomerang. Blackbird, that's owned by the Irish Syndicate. Um, owner, John trained by Victor Cheeseman and ridden by Antonio Eddie Whitehall. In the lead in of two Horse number two, two too much bling. From number seven, Jack Manani Gap. This one broke Third number on five, Antonio Swagger Jewel. Whitehall. And I the fourth number one, to imagine final, that. Maybe 50 yards. So the unofficial Where results Jack for Manani race number Gap. one. Once two, again, just seven, five, one and the one. Three old son of Jamaica. And the horse number two, two too much bling, Ford being led back by the connections. The last half of Congratulations to them. Didn't get there in time. And uh, that gives trainer Victor Cheeseman actually a one two. And an Third exciting race, finish. Horse number five, Jewel. To begin the today's Antonio Sandy Lane Barbados well, Gold Cup race day. Was horse number one. Imagine that. Of the other, Sonador has never seen any with a chance. Same can be said for Pretty Princess. Zendaya was about mid division throughout. Musical also around mid division. Never landed a blow. Martha Bray, Eye Catcher, and Leopard in the Valley also failed to make any significant impression this afternoon. The opening quarter was 25 and 1. The half mile was completed in 49 and 4. Uh, the winner stopped the clock in 107 and 2. So, what an exciting way to start the day. We start the day with a tight photo, too close to call. And Neil. As we head on to the second race, we must uh, say a big welcome to the legend who is joining us today, none other than Larry Connors. Larry, welcome to the boss. Great to be here. And uh, Larry's going to join us for a few words. And um, it's a really an honor to have him here. He is called probably the race that of the century. And of course, that would have been the Belmont Stakes won by American for Larry, welcome. Thanks, Dean. Man, it's great to be here. And uh, the uh, I've been told about the, the atmosphere, and it's just unbelievable. And it's going to get bigger and bigger as we get up to the Gold Cup. Yes, it is. And of course, uh, everyone's eagerly awaiting your call of the Spa Sticks this afternoon. And I'm sure you're all prepared and ready to go. I've never called a race clockwise before. It'll be the first time. <laughs> All you have to do is remember to switch leads when they come to the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. <laughs> no, it's, but it's really a lovely experience to have you here and join us, of course. We have a regular team of Lyndon Yard, Neil Gill, and Rashawn Aline. And uh, when you prepare for a big race like today, uh, the Kentucky Derby, for example, um, especially, I guess, your first Kentucky Derby, um, what was that experience like? Well, that was, uh, I only had a couple of weeks before I realized I was going to call that Kentucky Derby because uh, Tom Durkin had stepped down pretty late. And uh, when, when that did happen, uh, I didn't have enough time to get too nervous. <laughs> I just had to start preparing. As preparing we continue, the names in my head. Um, Sandy Lane Barbados uh, Gold Cup race once day. They sent it to me. We the, look forward to race two to race. coming up next at 12 uh, 25 we p.m. This the other day. The Villa at Sandy Lane and Trophy. I'm a race caller, and, it, and it's this is the vision like B. Any other race, but I noticed. So race one, in fact, was the vision A. That my legs were shaking like jello. <laughs> I was so nervous, but uh, we survived. Well, it's great to have you here, and um, of and course, we we'll have a little plan. more chat as we go through and the already you can feel and, the fever. Uh, we'll have you hopefully really join us to lead in at least.